Well, today's 10,000 Reasons flashback takes us to program number 7058, which aired on July 5th, 2004. Our guest was David Nasser, who shared what it was like to live in Iran during the start of the Islamic Revolution in the late 70s. My father was high-ranked in the military in Iran, and so when the Iranian Revolution happened, um, we knew that for sure he was going to be one of the people that were going to be tortured and killed in the revolution. And um, so we knew we had to escape as a family. I've, I've got memories as a little kid looking back on the revolution days, and they were all memories of fear. I, I remember um, soldiers coming to my school. I went to a military school in Iran and having school assemblies and calling in front of the student body people whose fathers had high influence in the military, me being one of them, and putting guns in our foreheads. Pretty dramatic stuff. And David's high-ranking military father concluded that it would just be a matter of days before he would likely be taken away and executed by the new regime. So their family knew they would have to leave everything behind and carry out a daring escape plan, a plan that succeeded, thankfully, and they eventually landed in the United States with refugee status when David was nine years old. Then at age 18, due, due to the witness of some persistent friends, he decided to make a decision that would become an even greater life-changing event. I'd learned how to climb the ladder of popularity and all these different things, but I was as empty as empty could be. And I was 18 years old when I, uh, 18 and two months, when, uh, you know, on a Sunday night, you know, I was crucified with Christ. Mm -hmm. And God didn't change my behavior that night. I didn't go from one religion to another religion. I went from death to life. Yes. You know, I, yeah. I went, uh, you know, the, the Christian life is not bad people becoming good people. It's dead people becoming alive. Yeah. And um, God didn't change my behavior. He didn't, he changed my identity that night. And I died. The old me died. And a new me was born again. Well, that decision would soon launch David Nasser into a ministry that today is having a wide impact as he speaks to over 700,000 young people each year through rallies, camps, and school assemblies. Well, that's just another quick flashback as we look forward to program 10,000.